Welcome everyone uh, on behalf of the Arun Duggal uh, ESG Research Center at IMA. Um, extremely glad and honored uh, to be hosting Dr. Milind Kamble today uh, for a, a short webinar. And uh, Dr. Kamble is a entrepreneur, policymaker, and he's also the founder chairman of the Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, this is the first Indian Commerce Association uh, designed to promote entrepreneurship among the Dalit community in India. Uh, he is the Padma Shri recipient in uh, 2013. Uh, he's also um, you know, focusing on this motto of uh, being job givers, not job seekers, as a motto to uh, create entrepreneurs among uh, the Dalit community. Uh, he has found his inspiration, as I see in his CV, uh, from the history of African uh, American people's struggle uh, in in the in the U.S. in the mid 20s uh, to uh, uh, and uh, today uh, DICC, the Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce, is is laid on this uh, you know foundations of cooperation uh, and uh, uh, mutual development. Uh, there are over 10,000 participant members uh, of this uh, chamber uh, with chapters spread around 29 states and seven international uh, chapters. Uh, apart from that, Dr. Kamle is also a successful entrepreneur. Uh, he's a CMD of Fortune Construction Company, and he has diversified into men's apparel business uh, and an interesting leather products uh, brand under the name of uh, Le Dharavi. And he's also the director of Superb Housing and Infrastructure Limited, which is working on mass housing projects uh, in Mumbai. So, and that's a very illustrious uh, and inspiring uh, profile, Dr. Kamble. Now, I will uh, open the platform to you. Uh, you will be talking today about social inclusion and entrepreneurship. Uh, I'm sure you will be able to draw a lot from your own personal experience. Uh, and we have uh, uh, audience from at different walks of life. There are students, there are researchers, there are professionals, and also faculty members from in, in IMA and other institutions. So welcome once again, Dr. Kamble. Uh, over to you. Yes, thank you, uh, Professor Anish and Professor Debashish, uh, inviting me uh, for this uh, lecture. And it was a long pending, so many dates we changed uh, as for our convenience. And today, finally, uh, 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 I'm with you. Uh, uh, the topic is today's, actually, it was a ESG. Uh, ESG is in a Western terminology, they can call ESG. But, uh, but today's our topic is a social inclusion and entrepreneurship is an Indian version. Okay. Uh, so, uh, dear students, uh, researchers, and professionals. Okay. Uh, Professor Anish introduced me as an entrepreneur and other things uh, also. So I am working for this group of uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. We can call it some mar marginalized community of this country uh, uh, through a chamber. And we found that entrepreneurship is the best way for the economic empowerment of a scheduled caste and scheduled type company. And as of now, uh, many, many people inspired and they are in uh, enterprises. So uh, uh, I'm going to narrate you the two stories. Uh, one is a US story and another is an India story. Why I have selected these two countries? Because U.S. is the oldest democratic country and India is the largest democratic country. And in these two countries, what are happening on the social inclusion, financial inclusion of a marginalized section uh, and their development of entrepreneurship and all that. So on these two uh, uh, stories, I'm going to narrate uh, on on this subject that you, you will understood. So first, uh, we'll go to the US. When we will deep drive into the history, we'll found that 
कि देर वॉज फर्स्ट शिप फ्रॉम अफ्रीका एंड दैट शिप नेम वॉज जीजस बुलैक हु ब्रॉट द स्लेव्स इन टू द यूएस द यूएस हैज अ नॉट मोर इयर्स हिस्ट्री जस्ट इट्स अ फोर फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स हिस्ट्री ऑफ यूएस सो those who founded uh, us they feel that ki this is a fertile land we can uh, develop it but for that required the people and for that and in the ancient time not ancient time but in the uh, uh, 16th and 17th century uh, there was a slavery uh, worldwide uh, particularly european countries and all that to ye chal raha tha desh duniya mein to usi mein the first sheep she from the africa which i was telling jo slaves ko bhar ke ne ke african american jo log hai abhi jo kaha jata hai pehle earlier it was called at a negroes unko bhar ke us leke aaye wo 1609 mein the first ship landed in the us in a 1609 1609 mein aur then they started uh making roads agriculture land uh, ports buildings and complete development started in the us and the very crucial role played by these african american people to create an america to create an us united states and which is a, a uh, as of now we can say is a, a it's a developed economy developed country um it's a capitalist country we can say so to ye karne mein jo sabka kiska jo role bada raha hai wo hai uh, african american native americans red indians uh, we can call the, these uh, sections and these are the marginalized sections you can uh, for you, uh, for our understanding we can say it to inhone kaam kiya and we know Th- uh, thomas jefferson wrote and constitution uh, in 1863 and some of groups so and the declaration they made in the constitution there will be no practice of apartheid abhi isme koi practice nahi rahegi apartheid ki jo nasl bhed jo varna bhed jo hai uski nahi rahegi all are equal before law so every constitutions uh, uh, preamble or aims is everybody equal before law so as they uh, wrote and the the journey of a us started but one thing i want to remember you in 1963 exactly after 100 years uh, under the leadership of a civil right movement in the us and martin luther king uh, malcolm x and so many people were, were the leaders they organized one long march on lincoln memorial which is a, in the uh, washington uh, dc everybody visited might be visited that lincoln memorial i personally visited so there they gathered 2 lakh people from across all over america to 2 lakh logon ka ek bada march nikla aur usme and that was for the emancipation okay and what was their demand we want economic freedom we want equality you want justice for that they organize a long march and where martin luther king's a great speech a memorable speech that everybody knows that i have a dream so this is a something uh, a brief to understand to recollect you uh, which i have told so the another post second world war in 1945 america was emerging as a super power in the world okay and other hand the people there was a civil right movement chal raha tha ye long march hua ye sab hua ek side world ki capitalist country super power america was emerging aur dusri or wahan ke jo uh, african american hai jo marginalized log hai wo they बोल रहे हैं कि हमें फ्रीडम चाहिए इकोनॉमिक फ्रीडम चाहिए और इक्वालिटी चाहिए ये बड़ा कॉन्ट्राडिक्टी था तो आप आ, अगर देखोगे 
तो 1960 टू 70 दिस डिकेड देर वाज अ सिविल वॉर ब्लैक्स वर्सेस व्हाइट तो ये बड़ा संघर्ष हुआ है देर वेर एवरीवेयर ब्लड शेड्स ऑन द रोड एंड सो मेनी उसके ऊपर पिक्चर भी आए हैं हमने देखा है बर्निंग मिसिसिपी लाइक लाइक दैट एंड ऑल दैट सो ये कब कहा शुरू हुआ वेर द स्पार्क वॉज हैपन तो आपको थोड़ा सा बताने के लिए मैं कहूंगा देर इज प्लेस मॉन्ट प्लेस इज देर गो मेरी अलाबाम तो वहां पे एक अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन लेडी एक बस में एक व्हाइट सीट जो व्हाइट लोगों के लिए जो रिजर्व सीट थी वहां पे वो बैठी तो उसको उतारा गया उस सीट से हटाया गया तो देन जो एक बड़ा ब्लास्ट हुआ एंड वहां से एक सिविल वॉर अमेरिका में शुरू हुआ देन द लीडरशिप ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अदर हैंड अमेरिका इज इमर्जिंग एंड जो देश में जो बाकी जो हो रहा है यह अमेरिका के लिए कुछ अच्छा नहीं है तो देन उन्होंने सोचना अलग तरह तरीके से शुरू किया तो वट दे डिड दे अपॉइंटेड वन गवर्नर कमीशन विच इज अर कमीशन यू कैन गूगल इट यू विल गेट इट केयरनर कमीशन एंड द मैंडेट हैज गिवन दैट केयरनर कमीशन ये जो हाउ टू ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट विच इज अ वाइडनिंग डे टू डे और ये ठीक नहीं है फॉर अमेरिकन सोसाइटी सो दे कम अप विद डिफरेंट इनिशियटिव Uh, और सबसे पहले तो उन्होंने ये केरनर कमीशन ने कहा कि आइडेंटिफाई टू लैख ब्लैक यूथ एज इट इज एंड वेर इट इज और उनको गिव दे एम्प्लॉयमेंट ओके अकोमोडेट देम देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स यू फिनिश द स्किल्स एंड अदर वो आप करिए पहले उनको एम्प्लॉयमेंट तो लाइक वाइज दे कम अप विद सेवरल दिस थिंग एंड द ग्रेट थिंग वॉज वेन एंड निक्सन वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट and he come up with the affirmative action uh, in indian constitution that i will come later on uh, there is a affirmative action which is called is a reservation the similar uh, they, uh, they come up with the uh, pre- pre- richard nixon come up with the affirmative action policy uh, which is a, a supplier diversity and employment diversity so and uh, the uh, us industry has taken it very positively okay and they started adopting like if you go to the detroit uh, in the uh, ford's motor campus you will find there is a affirmative action gallery and uh, i can say henry ford uh, is a, a great industrialist and who may be uh, the father of affirmative action what he told his managers uh, ask them uh, display the products ओके प्रोडक्ट्स एंड गुड्स लाइक कॉफी मग से लेके इसे बहुत सारी चीजें जो विजिटर्स आते हैं उनको जो हम लोग देते रहते हैं लाइक दैट और ही आस्क हिज मैनेजर्स प्लीज गो एंड फाइंड कौन अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन जो आंट्रप्रीनर कुछ काम कर रहा है छोटा वर्कशॉप चला रहा है दिस दैट और वो आइडेंटिफाई करिए एंड उनको लाइए यहाँ पे एंड शो दैम और इसमें से कौन से पार्ट वो बना सकते हैं ओके okay. और आ, आ, और उनको असिस्ट हैंड होल्ड तो उन्होंने उनको असिस्ट किया हैंड होल्ड किया और सब कुछ वो होने के बाद दे स्लोली द स्टार्टेड बाइंग दे डिसाइडेड टू क्रिएट अ डाइवर्स सप्लायर बेस ओके सिमिलरली द अदर कंपनीज एंड सो मेनी अदर कंपनीज ऑल्सो फॉलोड सिमिलर सप्लायर diversity supplier diverse space similarly they started uh, employment also if bill gates uske office mein when he enters he don't want to see the all white faces in his office there should be african american there should be asians there should be hispanians and other that and that has become a culture so you will find uh, the so many people Uh, through this uh, employment diversity got an opportunity uh, to head the different uh, companies different level positions to ye humne dekha hai 
इवन दो यूएस चैनल्स को भी अगर हम देखेंगे तो देर विल बी डिफरेंट एंकर्स विल कम एंड सो दे हैव अडॉप्टेड दिस इज एम्प्लॉयमेंट डाइवर्सिटी सिमिलरली दे हैव अडॉप्टेड सप्लायर डाइवर्सिटी सो हाउ द गवर्नमेंट एंड द प्राइवेट सेक्टर दे हैव अडॉप्टेड गवर्नेंस एंड सोशल इन्वायरमेंट यू कैन रिलेट ऑल दैट थिंग्स ओके सो एंड दे हैव स्टार्टेड वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग यूर नोटिस दैट इन वन नाइन जीरो जीरो नाइनटीन हंड्रेड द फर्स्ट बिजनेस ब्लैक नॉट ब्लैक Negro Business League. The Negro Business League started by Booker T. Washington uh, in 1900, exactly in 1900. And the way uh, uh, their financial inclusion process, awareness, and all that they they started in the country. And 1963, 64, 61, they come up with the different affirmative action, supply diversity. and the private industry also um, accommodated all these uh, mandates by the uh, president office and it has come through a presidential order only so that everybody have to ma- mandate agar abhi hum dekhenge us mein so uh, they called minority entrepreneurs okay uh, and in their definition the minority who are the minority the african american Uh, comes under the minority asians indian americans hispanians and also many people women and lgbt all these diverse uh, sections comes under the minority uh, and the minority why minority and we hum usko is tarah dekhte hai ki those people who are discriminated on the basis of color they, that we can call here as a minority okay and for them uh this complete affirmative action uh, pro- program employment diversity supplier diversity jo hai wahan pe chal raha hai recently uh, uh, we visited chicago and uh, booth university also booth business school also where uh, you are uh, one uh, board of uh, a member of your board uh, is a professor over there so uh, in the same chicago university we visited Uh, the department called uh, diversity and in- inclusion so to gather some of information so uh, now this this has become a practice uh, each and every b schools and t schools there are uh, uh, center for diversity and inclusion uh, and like that uh, they are practicing so likewise abhi uh, when we started dikki so we have established a good relations with the us uh, african american professors and all that there was my one friend professor brown wo har saal india aate hai he is a professor in indiana university so along with some students so we got opportunity to host them a dinner or lunch some so uh, and got opportunity to interact with this uh, all a uh, student fraternity so once i asked professor brown uh, professor brown is a african american professor so i asked him ki professor brown can you tell me uh, how it was possible in 2009 uh, one black man in white house okay uh, when uh, barack obama in 2009 when he elected as the president of the united states do the population of united state in, in the united state of african american is not uh, more than 13% but among that one barack obama has become an a president so this was my general question and this uh, how it was possible uh, one black man in white house so professor brown told me that ki million uh, 50 years back Uh, all african american the fraternity those who are intellectuals professors anthropologists and some of uh, some of industry people uh, sab hum log we sit together 
और वी डिसाइडेड कि हमको सभी सेक्टर uh, में एंटर करना है ओके एंड वी हैव टू प्रूव अवर सेल्फ इन द यूएस दैट कि हम भी कुछ कम नहीं है एंड दे एंटर इन अ डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स सो लाइक वाइज दे एंटर इन टू द बिजनेसेस एंड दे गॉट द गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम ऑफ अफर्मेटिव एक्शन एंड कार्पोरेट सपोर्ट सप्लाई डाइवर्सिटी एंड ऑल दैट और उसमें से सो ही वॉज टेलिंग की सम ऑफ पीपल एंटर्ड इन टू द बॉलीवुड ओके सॉरी हॉलीवुड ओके इन हॉलीवुड देर आर सो मेनी अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन फेसिस वी कैन सी डेंजिल वॉशिंगटन स्मिथ हेल बेरी एंड सो मेनी पीपल वी कैन वी कैन सी तो ये कैसे पॉसिबल हुआ तो the hollywood director they went to the ghettos black ghettos they identified uh, the talent aur unko break diya gaya break diya to likewise they come up but uh, apart from that uh, the first black billionaire emerge okay in 1993 around ya yeah, some uh, maybe here and uh, thoda aage piche ho sakta hai and he was robert yell johnson so this robert yell johnson uh he come up with the bet black entertainment television okay recently we uh, visited new orleans uh, which is in a louisiana state okay and new orleans is a birthplace of a jazz music okay so bobby uh, they and other so many people the jazz music so and all are african american people uh, actually actually it's a french uh, it's a french colony is there so uh, so these people so they have a some uh, they, they, they were having some of skills uh, of a music and all that and they come up and this black entertainment television through this enterprise uh, this robert l johnson has become a first black billionaire okay in the us so what they did तो बहुत सारे यूनिवर्सिटीज और इसमें टू इंस्पायर अदर अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन यूथ एंटर इन टू द एंटरप्राइजेस द पीपल ऑर्गेनाइज हिज लेक्चर्स एंड ऑल दैट थिंग इज हैपन बट आइज ऑफ नाउ अगर हम देखेंगे तो जो यूएस की जो इकोनॉमी है उसको दे मैप वेरी करेक्टली बिकॉज दे हैव सो बिनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड दे हैव डिवाइज एक्सलेंट मैकेनिज्म सो Uh, these african american owned enterprises they constitute nearly uh, about uh, uh, 10% of the uh, the complete uh, in the uh, in united states and near over about like 10% they contribute to the united uh, us gdp so this ye itna bada transformation jo hua aur uske jo piche hai so their mindset also they decided to enter into the different fields if you will go to the uh this african uh, american people in the athletics football and, and and other games also in hollywood also in the trade commerce industry also and the uh, in 2009 means exactly after 400 years the first ship which was in 1609 jo america africa se aaya sab slaves ko leke aur 2009 ko after 400 years uh, one african american has become a president of india so this is a little bit history and journey of a oldest democracy in the country and how they a social inclusion of the marginalized community through entrepreneurship and different ways uh, through corporate governance government system looks like we uh, lost the connection ha ah, yeah dr kamle we just lost connection if you can yeah yeah please continue yeah okay so now i am coming to the india so india story so we uh, dalit indian chamber of commerce and industry established in 2005 after exactly 
hundred and five years. Uh, in nineteen hundred, the Negro Business League was established by Booker T. Washington, and after two thousand. In 2005 means after exactly 105 साल के बाद में इंडिया में भी एक ऐसी चेंबर पुणे से बना अभी दैट हैज बिकम अ नेशनल चेंबर एंड वर्ल्ड वाइड वी आर स्प्रेडिंग द विंग्स पर्टिकुलरली द पी आई ओ द पर्सन इंडिया ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब दे माइग्रेटेड एंड जहां पे वो बिजनेस कर रहे हैं सो लाइक इन सेवन कंट्रीज वी आइडेंटिफाइड पीपल एंड we are nurturing we are creating a entrepreneurship culture and creating a support system ecosystem so the, uh, so now in, in india agar hum bharat mein agar dekhenge to hamare desh mein jo ek affirmative action ki jo journey hai wo agar hum dekhenge to uh, uh, wo shuru hoti hai maharashtra se okay uh, maharashtra mein अब पहले तो प्रिंसली स्टेट्स थे सब किंगडम्स थे ये सब तो महाराष्ट्र में द सबसे बड़ा जो किंगडम था तो भोसले डायनेस्टी जो थी छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज भोसले जो थे उनकी जो डायनेस्टी है तो उसमें एक कोल्हापुर प्लेस है जो जहाँ के राजा थे छत्रपति शाहू महाराज ओके इन छत्रपति शाहू महाराज जी ने उन्नीस में Uh, उनके संस्थान में uh, सबसे पहले रिजर्वेशन uh, लाया उन्होंने टू अकोमोडेट दीपल ऑफ मार्जिनलाइज और उन्होंने सभी जाति के लोगों के लिए होस्टल्स बनवाए बोर्डिंग्स बनवाए बोर्डिंग्स बनवाए स्कूल और लाइक दैट एंड फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब सो ही हैज गिवन फिफ्टी परसेंट रिजर्वेशन सो दिस इज वी कैन से इंडिया की जो अफर्मेटिव एक्शन हिस्ट्री है Uh, तो वो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम छत्रपति शाहू जी महाराज फ्रॉम कोल्हापुर संस्थान अभी अगर हम देखेंगे तो देर वॉज इन साउथ देर वॉज अनादर संस्थान मैसूर ओके वेर वडियार आर द किंग्स कृष्ण देवराय वडियार एंड अदर देर सब जो किंग्स थे तो 1919 में दे हैव ऑल्सो अपॉइंटेड वन ऑफिसर एंड दे हैव कम अपमेटिव एक्शन प्रोग्राम एंड ऑल दैट एंड 1920 में से इन मैसूर संस्थान में वडियार जो किंग वडियार थे उन्होंने दे स्टार्टेड अफर्मेटिव एक्शन ओके दिस इज अ बिफोर फ्रीडम 1947 फिर 1947 व्हाट हैपन वी नो वी कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली फिर वो सब कुछ हुआ और डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर Has become a chairman of a drafting committee, और उन्होंने 1950 में हमें constitution दी और उस constitution के माध्यम से there was he uh, introduced the affirmative action. It's an opportunity, ठीक है opportunity to whom uh, uh, जिनको मौका नहीं मिला है those are underrepresented. It's called it's a representation. For those who are underrepresented, uh, which is called affirmative action, and oh, oh, kaha kaha hai? We know in a political, in a politics is there, then a, in education system, and the, in the services. So, is me a affirmative action? Jo hai, humko dikhti hai. To fir, fir aage ham aate hai. To hume aise yaad dhyan aata hai ki 1980 me, 1980s, when Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India, तो उस समय उन्होंने यह सोचा कि फॉर दी या ओके दिस हैज गिवन अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर ऑल लेवल ओके ठीक है बट फॉर अबाउट द इकोनॉमिक इंपावरमेंट फॉर द इकोनॉमिक इंपावरमेंट सी इंट्रोड्यूस रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम या कोटा यू कैन कॉल इट कोटा सिस्टम फॉर द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब पीपल who constitute as of now as per 2011's uh, census 25% but earlier it was a 22.5% 15% were scheduled caste and 7.5% scheduled tribes so for them uh, in a petroleum companies there are petrol pumps there are gas agencies and earlier there was kerosene agencies also so uh, now there is no kerosene so uh, in this Uh, allotment of uh, 
petrol pump and gas agencies and likewise uh, uh, government has started the affirmative action uh, for the e economic empowerment uh, process and later on uh, in 2011 uh, msme act of 2006 which is amended and uh, in that amendment um, the government has decided to give 20 percent uh, procurement uh, priorities to the SMEs. And that time, Dikki intervened. We started in 2005, so until we showcased a lot of talent among scheduled caste and scheduled enterprises and this and that. Uh, meantime, in 2011, we organized a very big uh, expo, national level expo in a BKC, where Mr. Ratan Tata, Mr. Godrej and so many uh, industry houses participated and Mr. Ratan Tata appealed to the Indian industry, we have to implement affirmative action. We have to give the opportunity for the marginalized community, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. So, and after that, uh, uh, Mr. Muthuramanu was the uh, vice chairman of a Tata Steel. Earlier, he started his career from Jamshedpur as a Tata Steel, as a graduate engineer from a Madras, IIT Madras. And from there, he became a MD, Jamshedpur of Tata Steel, and then vice chair. So, uh, in Jamshedpur, he had a lot experiment experiments. So, in that experiment, he so many tribal, created a tribal societies, this, that. और उनको uh, opportunity supplies और uh, इसमें उन्होंने दिया था employment में तो there are 80% uh, employment uh, in the Tata Steel is among from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe okay so वो वो बात अलग है मगर business opportunities भी they have created so uh, Ratan Tata asked Muthuraman and me uh, can you draft a affirmative action policy for a Tata group so we, we told yes we, we will do it and then a very good affirmative action policy Muthuraman or Mene Banai. For that, I visited across all Tata plants in the country, right from Chennai, Udhar, jo Tata International, ke jo Leather, Sileke, Devas, Sileke, Pura Pura, all over India. Mm. I visited, I interacted uh, with the procurement team, MDs, and all. And we created a, a, a excellent affirmative action policy. And now they have a program called TAP, T-A-A-P, -T -A -A Tata Affirmative Action Program. Okay. And uh, uh, as of now, there are 900 SCST entrepreneurs uh, are there in a supply chain. Okay. As the vendors and suppliers in a different Tata companies. And... Uh, uh, and near about 16 to 7, 600 to 700 crore uh, business opportunities they has given. So, ye ek Tata me ek affirmative action ka ek bahut hi acha implementation aur uska program bana hua hai. Aur isko very positively sabhi ne usme liya hua hai. Now they have lo bahut unhone abhi diverse kiya hai. Uh, they, sustainability ke andar, woman, then LGBT, PWD, or A sub ko bhi, oh, they, they are including. But this is a one India's model, like uh, Mere Isme Kahatha, uh, Ford wala jo model uh, America me jo tha. So we say the first model in India by Tatas. And uh I uska um gawa hum bhai. To, Mm, and uh, uh, that policy is called M and M policy, uh, affirmative action policy. Muthuraman and Milin. Okay, so ये हमने बनाई है. तो Tata के साथ and others, Godrej और बाकी भी corporate houses के साथ भी हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं. तो यह जो 2011 में जो हुआ, तो उसी समय ये तो corporate sector में भी affirmative action शुरू हो गई. 2007 से we become a partner of a CII uh, of affirmative action uh, policy और उसके बाद में बहुत सारी चीजें now I'm a I'm a co-chair Tata uh, not Tata CII affirmative action task force जो um, uh, जो चीजें corporates को भी समझानी होती है जो क्योंकि हम सब लोग देशी जो लोग हैं 
सब देसी लोगों को समझाना बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट है वट इज है वर्ल्ड वाइड अंडर दिस सस्टेनेबिलिटी धीस एंड दैट ऑल सो यह काम वी आर वी आर डूइंग बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस द अफर्मेटिव एक्शन जर्नी द कारपोरेट इंडिया इज ऑल्सो अडॉप्टेड बट इन द गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व दिस प्रोक्योरमेंट पॉलिसी वेन वी इंटरवेन वेन ट्वेंटी परसेंट गवर्नमेंट वॉज सेटिंग असाइड प्रोक्योरमेंट फ्रॉम एम एस एम ई सेक्टर यू नो ऑल एम एस एम ई इज अ वेरी क्रुशियल विच इज अ बैकबोन ऑफ अ इंडियन इकोनॉमी we we can say it and they are uh, uh, to bahut competition unme hota hai bahut competition hai to to ease of that competition government come up ki bhai 250 psus are there and there are nearly 6 lakh crores annual procurements uh, from these all psus and departments of services goods and products from the market so government has decided we will टेंडर जो है वो ओनली इंडियन एम एस एम ई कैन पार्टिसिपेट दिस इज ऑल्सो गुड एक अच्छा उसमें आया हुआ है सो so, ये होने के बाद में uh, uh, हमने इंटरवेंशन करने के बाद गवर्नमेंट decided yes 4% procurement will uh, uh, will be done from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe entrepreneurs this was the first dent by uh, dikki uh, to create a government policy so in 2012 and after that it was a, earlier it was a voluntary uh, 12 13 13 14 and 14 15 first three years it was a voluntary okay and in 2014 15 the new government uh, headed by narendra modi ji why earlier was a dr manmohan singh's government he was a prime minister so we used to uh, uh, talk to with him uh, his office and all that and then modi ji aane ke baad humne unko bhi yeh kaha jab pehli baar unko hum mile to unko kaha ki this is a excellent policy which is a created in 2012 and this policy need to be uh, continued and it should made it a mandatory so in a 2015 1415 budget uh, uh it's announced that this has become a mandatory okay so jo students hai unke liye main batana chahunga those who are the students jo entrepreneurs hai okay aur ye entrepreneurship hai uh, uh uske liye entrepreneurs ke liye 3m is a very important okay that is the first m is a market each and every entrepreneur is in search of a market and that market we have created for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe we can say marginalized uh, community entrepreneurs that is a 4% procurement from government establishment okay uh nearly Uh, 6 lakh crores 4% means uh, 24000 crores market now which is open for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe entrepreneurs and which is incremental agar 6 lakh se 7 lakh hota hai to accordingly kam hota hai to kam uh, plus minus so this is a first yam which is very important this is a market the another uh, important is a money okay so and our intervention only uh, in 2015 16 the stand up india policy come up okay uh, each bank each branch there is a mandate uh, they have to lend from 10 lakh to 1 crore for a green field enterprises from a scheduled caste or scheduled tribe one so there are 1 lakh 25 branches in the country of uh, that time 27 public sector Uh, bank size of now the number is less because so many mergers uh, of a uh, banks so the target is to create 1 lakh 25000 entrepreneurs from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and without collateral lending from 10 lakh se 1 crore tak ka so this is a, another intervention so then again we told okay this is a good uh, for a startups uh, uh, for early stage funding 
this will address the need of entrepreneurs but those who are already in enterprises for them also we have to create uh, some support system then in 2016 government come up with the venture capital fund for a scheduled caste which is from 50 lakh 50 lakh se leke 15 crore tak ka venture capital fund uh, this is also our intervention uh, dickies intervention uh, they have come up then another those who are technology based startup in the country and for them need a seed funding there are so many tbis are there aics are there then uh, uh, dbt ka bhi uh, uh, tbis are there okay uh, department of biotechnology and uh, some state led a uh, good uh, technology uh, incubation centers are there so uh, they are all onboarded uh, for uh, one scheme which we suggested to the government and that is asim a s i m ambedkar social innovation and incubation mission a s i i m okay i think i am i am ahmedabad's tbi uh, is a uh, also on boarded for this scheme to uh, scheme what is that scheme uh, and what is its criteria those are scheduled caste uh, uh, and similar scheduled tribe will come. Those are scheduled caste and scheduled tribe youth or any age group above 18 who is having technology-based business idea. Okay. So uh, he or she can walk in any TBI set up by a DST or AIC, Atal Incubation Center by AIM, Atal Incubation Mission or state-led uh, any uh, technology-based incubation center. So that he, uh, he or she can walk in uh, to this TBI and they can pitch their business idea. And once they certify, yes, this can be commercialized. So then uh, they will approach to the ASIM and there is a formality and they will get a seed funding of a 30 lakhs. So it's a 10 lakh, 10 lakh and 10 lakh. Okay. And when his idea get mature and he want to set up his enterprise, factory, something, uh, establishment, then venture capital fund will uh, uh, will play a role, uh, okay, to support financially. So likewise, this is the pipeline uh, to sell in the market. Government market is there already, which which is created, and also through linkages of affirmative action in the Indian industry, uh, they, we created a market for them. So this is a, a pipeline you can say. So when you have a startup idea, you will get a seed funding, you want to set up a, a factory establishment, you will get from venture capital fund uh, for the market linkages, the government and private sector is there. So this, these two things, uh, two, three things. And the third AM, which is required, which is a mentoring. Okay. And this for the mentoring is very important. Okay. So in 2016, 17, 16, uh, in a PMO, um, we we got an opportunity to give a presentation of a group of 15, 16 secretaries of the government of India. And we suggested need to create an ecosystem, support system, handholding and mentoring. Being uh, these people are first generation uh, entrepreneurs. So uske baad mein, in the budgetary announcement only, uh, when Arun Jaitley was the finance minister in the 16-17 budget, uh, they announced uh, th this is a national SCST hub in Ministry of MSME uh, for a provision. And as of now, uh, there are 17 SCST hub offices across India. And what is their role? Their role is a hand-holding, mentoring, market linkages, and all these things. Okay. So, uh, Dickey's intervention uh, we uh, uh, created a complete market money and mentoring uh, system and which is a institutional support system okay the government support system we, we we created and thanks to the indian industry they are also uh, onboarded for uh, implementing affirmative action uh, in their establishments so this is the india story uh, now what is the share? Okay. So the share, see, the mudra is a one scheme. 
okay i'm very closely working with a dfs department of financial services which is implementing this scheme okay in the mudra the 40 lakhs accounts they have financed 23 lakh crore okay this is a recent uh, uh, figures published by the dfs ministry of finance okay and in that 40 lakh uh, sorry in that 40 crore accounts 18 percent beneficiaries not beneficiary uh, the people who uh, got loan uh, under mudra are from a scheduled caste and 5 percent are scheduled tribe means out of 40 crore 23 percent the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe youth persons uh, uh, businessmen a small i i call it a nano entrepreneurs okay all these the nano entrepreneurs they got benefited from this uh, mudra through stand up india more than 60000 accounts uh, got a benefit uh, from this stand up india from a pmegp from a, a blue revolution pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana okay abhi pm fme jo hai food processing ki jo scheme hai usme uh, are in different in the schemes out of 25% as of now one <laughs> we cross 141 crore population okay out of that 25% uh, is a scheduled caste and scheduled tribe which is a 35 crore population in this country and which is equal to the us population uh, so out of this 35 crore population through different the schemes like a mudra stand up pm matsya sampada yojana pm egp and all these uh, enterprises related promotion related schemes the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe uh, people has got an opportunity near about 10 crore people my estimate because as for my uh, 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 because we are working all uh, we are there designing for implementation partners of this government of india so i know the figures near about 10 crore people it's a big number you can say 10 uh, percent uh, constitutes uh, out of uh, our uh, the complete uh, in enterprises in the country are uh, run by scheduled caste and scheduled type enterprises so uh, this is a uh, uh, something uh, which india story uh, for the inclusion of uh, social uh, marginalized communities for the mainstreaming for the economic empowerment and further that because i'm i'm an entrepreneur first generation entrepreneur now i'm 30 years in enterprises uh, running a chamber interacting with the government policy makers also i'm associated with uh, i am jammu so i understood what b school can play a role so, so to understand Yes, Samaj ke humne that we, uh, when I met some of uh, uh, institute uh, in the US and all that, and we come up with the diversity cent, and which is we launched in I am Jammu, which is the first one which we launched diversity cell, uh, and now it has become a full fledged center for diversity and inclusion. Okay, and through that, uh, uh, the B schools. Uh, ki jo experti hai management ke will try to impart for these grassroots level entrepreneurship for marginalized usme women wo sabhi diversity mein to sabhi aayega hamare institute ke language mein aur uh, usi mein we link to the ministry of uh, msme scst hub there is a one program called um, mdp support for mdp or short term uh, uh, courses for the management development and abhi abhi humne add diya tha i am jammu ne uh, we have signed a mou with the ministry of msme i am ahmedabad is also on board i am very happy uh, for uh, to run the, the, these courses and five, five abc uh, thanks to abc they are all on board mm -hmm. to implement this diversity cell or uh, ministry of msme scst hub scheme uh, so that on 15th of this uh, may the first batch so what is this scheme uh, the 50 entrepreneurs uh, will select jointly Ministry of MSME, CII is there, Dickey is there, and Institute uh, 
दे दे एडवर्टाइज एंड जो एप्लीकेशन आए उसमें से 50 दे विल आइडेंटिफाइड जो लगभग एक लाख दस हजार फीस है 37 नहीं 72 टू आवर्स हाइब्रिड कोर्स इज देयर वी हैव डिजाइन सेवन डेज रेसिडेंशियल एंड रेस्ट ऑफ ऑनलाइन सैटरडे संडे ओनली थ्री आवर्स मीन्स ट्वेल्व वीक्स वील गिव दैम एंड आफ्टर थ्री मंथस वील गिव दैम सर्टिफिकेशन this is one um, what we understood from these marginalized sections of the community if uh, we want to create them sustainable agar humko banana hai or scalable so uh, what we found that they require uh, managerial inputs uh, through that we designed that and technology inputs so all tbis are already on boarded and t schools they are supporting us all iits so these two things this is something different in this country and this is a uh, exactly we are addressing the aspirations of young sc st youth which are very different if you can meet my daughter to lagta hai ki ye to alag planet ke bacche hai okay Uh, see, have a different startups in the sanit sanitation. Uh, see, see, is doing so. Ra sanitech. So, he tells me that in the chamber, we don't make technology. We don't make it. We just 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 make it. and uh, need to address the aspirations we have to prepare all institutions and exactly i am very happy the what india story is there for the economic empowerment of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe thanks thank you very much professor thank you uh, so much uh, dr milan that was uh, very uh, insightful and inspiring uh, to see the parallels between african american struggle and institutionalization of affirmative action and success of the community and how you are able to replicate you know parts of it in india uh, economic empowerment of the marginalized community that is really inspiring um uh, in the interest of time you know i would request the participants uh, over uh, zoom if anyone has any questions you want to address uh, directly to dr kamble you can write it down in the q and a section or you can raise your hands uh, i will be able to uh call you in and uh, you can raise your question <clears throat> we also have uh, and uh, professor ramohan puraga is a colleague and uh, uh, executive committee member of uh, uh, esg center i hope he's also online uh yes so we have one question from uh, hirali uh, makwana uh, hirali uh, i'm going to uh, switch on your microphone uh, you will be free to talk uh, good afternoon good afternoon sir good afternoon uh, uh, yeah. sir i am mahatma gandhi national fellow uh, posted in banaskanta district of gujarat state and uh, sir in my uh, district we have 14 blocks out of which two blocks or taluka as we may say are tribal dominated and uh, at times there is a conflict in terms of what we as administration think is beneficial for them and what they consider is good for us so then in that case how do we come come to a common understanding uh yeah it's a, a big role you have to play as a, uh, mahatma gandhi mgnf uh, uh, fellow uh, to understand actually your role is to uh, map the districts uh, and create a skilling uh, 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 skill mapping no what up to skill mapping kar rahe hai yes, na yes 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 yeah. sir okay and the main job of that mgnf fellowship is a skill mapping so this exactly Uh, आपको ये जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन उनके ध्यान में ये लाके देना पड़ेगा और अदरवाइज uh, आप किस इंस्टीट्यूट से कर रहे हैं आई एम अहमदाबाद से 
Yes, yes, sir. I am Ahmedabad history academy partner. Yeah, yeah, and these are some of very crucial social points. जो हैं जो administration समझ नहीं पा रहा है, तो I will request I am Ahmedabad to intervene in the government and uh, uh, as per their requirement, uh, need to design the schemes uh, which will address their requirements. Yeah, you have to play yes. a great role for this. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. And also, yeah. sir, when we try to uh, let's let's say transgender community compared to the others, we see that they lag behind. But uh, we also face this challenge that they do not want to uh, reveal the identity. So, so at times it becomes uh, a little critical over there also. That uh, like how how do we bring them forward when we think that there is something that is important for them, but uh, but they they feel like they are good wherever they are right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, uh, I am associated with EDII Ahmedabad. Okay, uh, I am there on board also, and uh, government has asked EDII. to set up a center for these transgenders and we are working with these uh, transgenders we invited lakshmi tiwari you know lakshmi is is from thane yes, mumbai yes yes yeah, yes yes yeah. yes now she has become a maha mandaleshwar okay they have set up their own uh, system of maha mandaleshwar uh, so uh, and from pune one my colleague uh, she is working for this transgender uh, and my daughter is coming up with the toilet integrated pink bus for dedicated to the transgenders okay uh, my because my daughter works in a sanitation space particularly for the women toilet hygiene and all that one bus is a place in uh, gandhi nagar uh, so so all these different of issues we have to understood and come up with the solutions and uh, adi ahmedabad is taking care of uh, entrepreneurship development support them so likewise so uh, to bahut sare logon ko iske upar kaam karna padega to understand the people's need and come up with their solutions yeah great great good to thank you thank you so uh, much sir it was an opportunity i'm i'm honored to be a part of this thank you thank sir thank you thank great. you ridali thank you we have a anonymous attendee there is a question that sometimes it is difficult to encourage marginalized people to take risk you know there is an inhibition there is a fear so taking risk is sometimes so how do we uh, encourage them if there is any suggestion or an experience or a story which you can uh, share <clears throat> that students see uh, i'm very closely working with the indian industry okay और जब भी कोई नई चीज आती है तो उसको स्वाभाविक से एक रेजिस्टेंस होता है जैसे हम लोग कह रहे हैं कि इंडियन इंडस्ट्री को कि भाई आप जो आपका इंक्रीमेंटल बिजनेस है हम ये नहीं कह रहे हैं कि ईच एंड एवरी वन दे दे आर हैविंग सेट ऑफ वेंडर सप्लायर्स वगैरह वगैरह तो हम ये नहीं कह रहे हैं कि किसी का बिजनेस निकाल के इनको दे दीजिए अगर आपकी कंपनी पांच सात दस परसेंट इंक्रीमेंटल ग्रोथ आपकी हो रही है तो उतना अपॉर्चुनिटी गिव टू दी दीज मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटी एंटरप्रीनर्स सो और हम ये भी कह रहे हैं वी आर आस्किंग द इंडियन इंडस्ट्री कि गिव अस कनेक्शंस वी आर नॉट आस्किंग कंसेशन और हम लोग ये कह रहे हैं कि एक अपॉर्चुनिटी दीजिए ना भाई जो सी आप जो क्वालिटी का जो कॉस्ट वट एवर आपका कॉस्ट क्वालिटी एंड डिलीवरी इसका जो भी मैकेनिज्म अदर वेंडर्स के साथ है तो एक प्रयास तो करके देखिए एक्सपेरिमेंट तो करके देखिए अपॉर्चुनिटी अगर सेम थिंग वो अगर फॉलो कर रहा है तो गिव हिम अपॉर्चुनिटी और मत दीजिए सो दिस इज वेरी क्लियर अवर स्टैंड तो कुछ नहीं रिस्क लेके देखिए भाई हम्म तभी समझ में आएगा थैंक यू डॉक्टर कामले Uh, Professor yeah. Turaga, you have any questions? Uh... Yeah, thank you, Anish, and thank you, Dr. Kamli. Uh, it's very interesting to present to you. And as Anish said, the parallels between the American uh, affirmative action and in. So I have one question. I was not aware of this at all. That the Tata Group has uh, this plan, what you call the M and M plan, right? Uh, 
can you sort of uh, say a little bit more about how do they actually uh, operationalize this? So in terms of saying that they are going to prioritize uh, the marginalized groups when they decide on who they who is going to supply uh, who is going to be their suppliers. How do they actually do it? And do you know of any other corporate sector which is trying to do something of this kind? Yeah. See, it is a, it is a program called TAP, Tata Affirmative Action Program. Okay. And Pune se humne shuru kiya Tata Motors se. Okay. Selection of vendors, each and every uh, industry, unka ek set process hai. So. Right. Uh, they have a hundred marks paper. Okay. Uh, when their team goes to evaluate uh, the vendor, so hundred marks may ye, ye, ye compliance kar rahe. So like that. So we suggested because uh, Ratan Tata ji told to work with her Dicky and us. So in a Pune, we have an office. So then Tata Motors was a, in Pune. So we have unke with kaam karna shuru kiya. Aur humne ek, uh, first, we organize a buyer-seller meet uh, in Tata Motor Company. Uh, from uh, buyer side, उन्होंने सबको बुलाया था उनके different departments जो जो buy करते हैं जो parts जो है वो से लेके services और बहुत सारी चीजें होती है okay और supplier sides तो they they shared a list us list uh, this, 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 this atom we buy from the market. And tentative price they hinted us. Okay, by this price. Okay. I told them, if we have to affirmative action, we have to do it in open book. Mein kaam karna. And it's like that, that we have to tell that we are going to buy from market from this rate. Let's go. Can you give it from this rate? Sakta hai? Same quality and ye. So likewise, uh, that I told to the Tata guys, and usi usi prakar hamne kiya. Or ye buyer sellers meet hamne lagbhag sabhi Tata companies me. Tata Steel, Tata Power, Tata International, Tata Chemical, sabhi isme hamne ye buyer seller meet kiya. Or usme then they identified okay from Tata Motors eyes of now they have nineteen vendors. Okay, or us nineteen vendor ka there is then process. जो भी है उसका डेवलपमेंट करना है उनका वेंडर रिलेशन मैनेजमेंट है उसमें उनको करके सैंपल ऑर्डर एंड देन उन्होंने वो शुरू किया तो ऐसे लगभग आइज ऑफ नाउ देयर आर 600 एससी एसटी एंड वुमेन वुमेन अभी छोटा पार्ट है मगर मेजरली 500 आर द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब एंटरप्रेन्योर्स वो तो Proper precision work wale parts we supply kar rahe hai, se leke services me lagne wale bhi bhoat sare parts supply kar rahe hai, to different level uh, aur ye ho raha hai. So, and we have created a mapping and tracking uh, system also. Ki in this financial year, sare 400 logon ko, uh, vendors ko in a different, different, different company, uh, itna uh, business mila, itne karor ka business mila. So, they have complete... Uh, uh, system uh, they have created. Uh, Mr. Sharan, uh, uh, who, who is a head of now, this is a TAP uh, uh, program. So they have created. Uh, this is a uh, one thing. This was the question. So that, that, that way they have adopted. The others, uh, others, they don't have a structure like a Tata. But uh, in a Mahindra, we are working. In a Bajaj, we are working. In the Thermax, we are working. In different companies, uh, we are working. And uh, so many Birlas. In a Birlas, we are working. My uh, Santosh Kamle, who is a Mumbai chapter earlier, he was a president. Uh, he is a vendor. But they don't know. <laughs> but but uh, due to in, in, in our country, by surname, you can identify yeah. uh, this guy is from uh, which community. So uh, almost all uh, these corporates, they are... Uh, implementing now the crucial point of challenges the top leadership of indian industry is convinced yes we have to implement affirmative action okay because this is linked to the sustainability okay now the challenge is sensitization of procurement managers 
बिकॉज ऑल दीज प्रोक्योरमेंट मैनेजर्स जो है वो तो अपने देसी लोग है पूरे शर्मा जी वर्मा जी मिश्रा जी नॉट लाइक द डोंट गो ऑन द टाइटल्स बट देसी लोग है सब तो इनको सेंसेटाइजेशन इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज ओके और वो हम लोग कर रहे हैं वी आर सेंसेटाइजिंग दैम वी आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग प्रोग्राम्स और ये सब चीजें हो रही है थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच thank you dr kamle uh, professor ernesto norona is also just joined us uh, yes. professor norona if you have any questions or comments it will be nice to hear from you yeah i just yeah this last issue which you raised of sensitization because that's very important and i think uh, otherwise uh, you know there are issues like how will you get these you know suppliers on board because there's always this discrimination that takes place correct so what do organizations do and how do they sensitize their you know their managers to this issue of discrimination that you know you would have against uh, dalit suppliers yeah as of now do uh, i am working with the indian industry to aise koi maine complain aise dekha nahi hai ki they have discriminated uh, uh, on the basis of caste Uh, entry is the barrier. Once he passes the entry barrier, and if he is able to match the requirements, so but it has not happened. But as for the other side, we received one proposal or one flyer from uh, uh, you uh, regarding sensitization. Uh, one proposal was there. One flyer was there. 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 One proposal was there. संजीव डांगी तो दिस इज अ चैलेंज एक्चुअली सेंसिटाइजेशन और उसके ऊपर हमको बहुत काम करना पड़ेगा लाइक like, आप आप अगर कुछ आई कम टू नो दैट यू यू आर स्टार्टिंग फॉर सेंसिटाइजेशन ऑन दिस डाइवर्सिटी एंड इंक्लूजन इट विल बी द ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव फ्रॉम आई एम ये रियली एंड आई विल हेल्प यू Uh, to design because we are practicing hum to day to day kar rahe day to day we are sensitizing uh, the these corporate guys uh, and there is a now now there is a lot of awareness because um, this sustainable uh, in a goals sdgs there is a sustainability and the industry uh, following sustainability and in a sustainability this all comes Uh, gender diversity supplier diversity schedule cast marginalized logon ko on board karna hai ye sab aa raha hai magar this has a very big scope as you start as a uh, this as a short term course for the corporates procurement managers and hr managers because they are the uh, the key players in in the company hr and uh, uh, procurement manager and to sensitize these people uh, jo hai wo hona chahiye yes i agree thank you professor norana thank you dr kamle uh, we are way beyond the time so i'll take only one last question from uh, the participants i see pushpendra chaudhary uh, he is asking that there are multiple challenges which a marginalized entrepreneur faces uh, besides funding uh he is saying that in your experience in your uh, experience uh what is the biggest challenge that a new first generation marginalized entrepreneur faces and what's what's the way to address that challenge see uh nandan nilkani knows everybody uh unhone ek book likha hai ओके okay, वो आप सबने पढ़ा भी होगा इमेजिनिंग इंडिया इन हिज बुक व्हाट ही रोट ओके टू स्टार्ट एन एंटरप्राइज इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके ये कौन लिख रहे हैं नंदन नीलकनी हु इज अ बॉर्न इन अ अपर कास्ट एलिट फैमिली ही एजुकेटेड फ्रॉम आईआईटी एंड ऑल हिज Uh, co-partners krish and uh, other narayan murthy and all okay so and he is saying it's a very difficult to start an enterprise okay this is something enterprise uh, ye jo hai ye not only a schedule caste and schedule tribe but others also okay in india uh, 
ये डिफिकल्ट है चैलेंजिंग है ना मगर आई विल टेल यू देर आर थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सक्सेस स्टोरीज फ्रॉम अ शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब ओके योर बोर्ड मेंबर समाइम इफ यू फाइंड अ चांस टू मीट हिम संजीव डांगी ही इज अ सेकेंड जनरेशन आंटरप्रिनर ओके इन हिज कंट्री एंड दूसरी बात क्या है ही स्टडीड फ्रॉम द मेयो कॉलेज और कहा किसको एडमिशन मिलता है मेयो कॉलेज में ओके बट ही इज फ्रॉम कम्युनिटी ही इज अ सेकेंड जनरेशन हिज फादर मेयो कॉलेज से पढ़ाया आई आई टी मुंबई से ही ग्रेजुएटेड ओके सी दूसरा मकवाना फ्रॉम गुजरात रति भाई मकवाना ओके ही इज अ सेकेंड जनरेशन दो हजार करोड़ का उनका टर्न ओवर है तो ये तो सी आज नाउ दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री फॉर अ मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटी टू स्टार्ट एन एंटरप्राइज और टू गो फॉर अ स्टार्टअप बिकॉज देर इज अ कंप्लीट इको सिस्टम इज अवेलेबल अर्लियर देर वॉज नो इको सिस्टम वेन आई स्टार्टेड थर्टी ईयर्स बैक माई एंटरप्राइज देर वॉज अ नो इको सिस्टम देर वॉज नो सपोर्ट सिस्टम ओके बट वेन देर इज अ विल देर इज अ वे वेन देर इज अ नो विल नो वे ओके जिसको बिजनेस शुरू करना है जिसमें फायर इन बेली ये जो सब टर्मिनोलॉजी आई विल नॉट यूज जिसमें है ओके डिस्पाइट ऑफ ऑर्ड्स ओके हे कम अप और ही स्टार्ट ही बिकम सक्सेसफुल तो देखिए चैलेंजेस तो बहुत है सबको चैलेंजेस है मगर वंस यू डिसाइड एक बहुत ही अच्छी स्टोरी है ओके कानपुर की मैं विजिट करने के लिए गया था उनके फैक्ट्री पे तो बढ़िया ऑफिस है 200 लोग काम करते हैं शूज का अपर बनाते हैं ही एक्सपोर्ट्स जब मैंने उनकी स्टोरी सुनी ओके ही बिलोंग्स टू शेड्यूल कास्ट ऑफ कोर्स और तब सबको ऐसे ऐसे लगता है कि यस इस टाइप से हमको बनना चाहिए क्या है वट इज इज स्टोरी घर में सात आठ लोग थे पिताजी एक्सपायर हो गए ठीक है माताजी ने सबको संभाल नहीं सकती थी सी वॉज इल सी वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन लास्ट स्टेज उसको एक छोटी घर में जो जो था थाली बर्तन उनको दिया और जाओ आप देख लो आप अपना काम कर लो ओके okay. और उन्होंने कुछ 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 छोटा छोटा किया और तब उसको ये लगा कि मैं गरीब क्यों हूं और मैं अमीर क्यों नहीं ये सवाल उसके मन में आया मैं गरीब क्यों हूं मैं अमीर क्यों नहीं अभी वो अमीर हो गया चलो दिस इज शॉर्ट स्टोरी Thank you, uh, Dr. Kamle, uh, on this inspiring story. Uh, we would uh, uh, wind up the webinar for the day. Uh, once again, I would thank all the participants, all the panelists who have come here, and uh, we will uh, transcribe, document, and summarize uh, the insights and uh, conversations which you have uh, mentioned here, and we will share uh, the documents with you. so once again uh, a very good evening to all the attendees uh, thank you very much for joining us yes thank you thank you, thank you very much thank you